Hey family, how are you? So here we are on our way to Alyssa's Primary Care. I learned from with faith, instead of me going to so many emergency rooms, urgent care, we're, we need to go straight to the specialist. So I learned that from faith. I tried to make her an appointment at the specialist, but apparently you can't just make an appointment. You need a referral from the PCP. So to cut the 3,000 places, I'm going to the PCP, getting a referral, and going straight to the asthma doctor because, um, you know, homegirl asthma been acting up since her last incident. And what else you need done? You said your migraines, right? Yeah. We just want to get you a CAT scan. You think I can request that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to ask them to get you a full-blown CAT scan because... What if I'm claustrophobic? What about if you claustrophobic? You'll be all right. Count to 10. Um, We're going to get it right. Get a type. Also, look where I want to go. We're about to pass it. I haven't been to Dollar Tree. That's dirty, though. It's dirty? Every Dollar Tree dirty. No, but that one's extra dirty. And it's not Dollar Tree. It's 125 Tree. I haven't been to Dollar Tree in over... Oh, I don't know. It's been... A very long time since I've been to Dollar Tree. So I'm excited. I'm so excited. I just want to see what they got now. Because I haven't been there in so long. And I, I know that they got like a $5 section. So, ooh, girl, they bougie tree. So, hopefully, we get to go. What's what? This <laughs> girl going to say was pottery. Girl, that say podiatry. Oh, girl. What's that word with the R? Yeah. Oh. Rehumatology. Who? Rehumatology. Uh. You excited? Let me request you to get a CAT scan. You're requesting that one. Yeah, because you said your chest, your head, that got to get looked at. So we could take the proper precautions. Because look at Faith. I had to go through 87 doctors. Now my baby just needed to see an eye specialist. Now she all healed. We're going to get it right, get it tight. So you ain't got to worry about nothing else. Unless I want to step on the scale room before somebody come in. The phone got to take off. You shitting me. Oh, wow. What is it? 203.2. I'm damn near. That's not that much. Girl, are you crazy? That's not that much. I gained so much weight back. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. My lowest weight was 187. I just want to weigh 170. That's what I want. Okay, so mm. <sighs> that was this hot, and I just like <clears throat> this is me working out. Look, <clears throat> I just need to look at this. I believe I could fly. It's like, oh, I'm just gonna lose some weight. I seen in my comment section, y'all was saying, the baby. What you should adopt the baby. I don't even want the ones I got. Why would I take more? You don't have any babies. You think Carter's an adult? You think you're an adult? Because if you was, I wouldn't have to be here with you right now. I. Why like would I want... A baby? The last thing I would want is children. You crazy? You see how many I got? <laughs> <laughs> when I'm about 53 years old and I become a grandma... I feel I'll be content with that. She's looking at me like that for. Fifty three is crazy. What age you think you having a baby? I'm not. Who said I was having kids? Right, that part. Well, you can have kids just when you out I'm my not, house. I'm not having kids. No, you can That's have kids crazy. when you get older. Are you crazy? I don't like kids. You love kids, girl. Uh -huh. Your favorite child is Cairo. Alyssa love Cairo. Like she a can't stand Carter. <laughs> she treat Carter so bad. No, I like Carter mm -hmm. too. I just get it. I don't like, not like all the other people that are in love with me. I like them for like 10 minutes and then they got my face. That's how I feel. And 10 minutes is a drag for me. So why would you think that I want to deal with more, girl? I can't wait till y'all up and out my house. Can't wait to get my hair done. Mommy, guess how much my stuff came up to me told How much? This is why you need connection. For my hair and my nails and my eyebrows, guess how much? How much? $145. Nice. Happy you got it. Your nails, everything. But don't forget to tip. Oh, yeah, that's going to be like 165 And then you got to buy all your school stuff. 
your sister, I'm not buying her school stuff until then. I'm going to just put the money up because she keeps saying, we, we wear uniform. No, we don't wear uniform. No, we wear all black. No, we, and they haven't sent me. Uh, eighth grade, eighth grade. And they haven't sent me an email or nothing because they got a new principal and stuff. So I don't know what's going on with that school. So guys, we took a detour on our way home and this is So excuse the bad lighting and I'm a little mentally exhausted going back and forth for my child, but I'm always open to reasoning and um, you can tell me if I'm wrong. Um, I'm, I'm for it. So Michaela asked me, can she go on a trip to another state with her friends and her friend's dad? No. I, no, I don't feel comfortable and I don't, number one, I don't know the people. Never met them a day in my life. Spoken to them on the phone once. Kids are so sneaky. You don't even know if you speak it to an adult or not. That's number one. Number two, would you send your girls on a trip with a man? I asked Michaela, are there going to be any women, preferably any mothers present? She said she don't know. Listen, I'm not saying that something won't happen to your child with a female because it sure can. I'm not saying that your child won't be protected with a man because I'm sure they will. But I feel like every human, and this is coming from a, a same-sex family, every human should have both sex in their lives you hear me so if i have a little girl with me and she needs to go in the restroom the dad can't go in there she has a, a girly moment well is a breakdown a, a sudden period anything she needs a woman to be there why i say preferably a mother because i feel like and this is my personal opinion if you are not a mom your motherly instinct ain't there i'm sorry it's how I feel. I know y'all going to agree to disagree. Let me tell you something. If you're an auntie, your auntie instant is there. If you're a grandma, your grandma instant is there. When you are a mother, it's an instant that I can't describe. Because if you know, you know. It's a motherly instant. That's like, I, I, I just can't. I, listen, 
I never owned a dog, right? Let's say I never had a dog. You gonna leave your dog with me? I don't know nothing about no animals. I never experienced how it feels to love a dog. Cause before I had a dog, I thought all dog owners was bat shit crazy. I used to be like, what the fuck? What is wrong with you? Treating this dog like a human. Got the dog in the stroller, feeding the dog food, loving on the dog, crying over the dog. He's a damn dog. Rub his tummy and leave the house. Now that I own a dog, that's not a dog. That's my child. But I would never be able to experience that if I wasn't a dog owner. If you are not a mother, you don't possess these motherly instincts. So I would prefer for it to be a woman and for it to be a mother as well. Michaela think I am being the meanest mom in the world. Let's not even forget you're really trying me. Michaela is, she's trying me because I don't even let my kids spend the night at people's house. You think I'm gonna let you go spend the night in a hotel at a, in another state? These are, you really, you, you messing with me. And Michaela? Listen, I ain't been on this camera in a long time with Michaela because we've been having hell in therapy okay we we we've been whew, girl we've been going to the therapist the psychiatrist the guidance counselors the social workers and I'm already battling my own demons because during therapy I found out things that was taking place when I let her go stay with her father that I didn't even know was happening until I heard it in therapy. I had no clue what was going on, but how could I have a clue? Whenever I'm calling Michaela, she's crying to stay there. She's begging not to come to me. She actually made everybody turn against me because they said I'm doing what's not best for her. That's how bad shit crazy she made me look. All the while in therapy, she's saying all these terrible things that took place there. Now, how can I trust your better judgment when you cried, begged, pleaded, made me fight and argue people down, call the police to get you home? You even telling the police officers that you don't want to come back to me. So much so they thinking I'm doing some shit to you. You did all this to stay somewhere. And you was getting mistreated. And all these horrible things that you're saying in therapy happened to you. So how can I trust you to go somewhere with people I don't even know? And for you to know that this is okay and this is not okay. Your better judgment isn't there. So right now, she thinks I'm the meanest mom on the face of this earth. And I'm here to tell y'all, as a parent, you're going to have to be the villain sometimes. And it's going to suck. And it's going to feel shitty. And your kids is going to make you feel horrible. And they're going to say they hate you. They're going to slam doors. They're going to talk about you to their friends. They're going to say you're the worst mom in the whole wide world. Baby, you ain't going to hear the end of it. But as a mother, there is something deep in the pits of your soul that say, mm-mm, this don't feel right. Mm -mm, I'm not. I'm not doing I'm not letting this happen. And your kid is going to make you feel like crap about it. But trust trust your better judgment, baby. Believe me when I tell you. I had siblings that was horrible. My mother used to say, don't go this place. Don't go out there and do that. If I was you, I wouldn't go there. As soon as they went and did it behind my mother back, sure enough, something bad happened. A mother just knows. She just knows. I don't feel it. I ain't with it. I ain't for it. So she about to hate me to the bitter end. But I'm also open for opinions. So if y'all feel like Jasmine, you're overreacting, you you should let her go. It's not that serious. Please tell me why and what's your reasoning. I, mean, I, I listen. Baby.